I hope you go broke. Can you phone? Hey, this is Justice Bennett, and this is my Q&A with Milky. So when I was when I was younger, I grew up in a musical family. Um, my mom was in a jazz band with my aunt, and my uncle was in a rock band. Um, I was always listening to like the older music that they were listening to, like my dad's and my dad's older music and stuff, older rock music. And uh, when I moved to North Carolina when I was 14, I got more into like the hip hop side of music, and I started, which really inspired me to start like writing and like recording my own music in my bedroom. Um, over like YouTube beats and stuff. Um, and ever since then, like I've been constantly writing music for the past like seven years, just on and off. Basically, whatever I was doing, no matter no matter what it was, like I was always writing music, like at night or in the background. So, um, so ever since then, I've been you know writing music, and I just recently started releasing like eight months ago. So it's been like an active, like just trying to develop my sound since the very beginning. I've been really trying to develop my sound these past seven years, just working on my lyrics and working on what I'm saying because that's like the most important thing to me. And um, once I was able to, you know, get the mixing quality and the engineering quality where I was, then I was able to experiment with my voice and the whole singing side of things and the melodic. Um, side of things so it became easier for me to experiment with other genres and um, get to where I'm sounding now. In Bad Day, probably um, you bring you bring out the worst to me if you feel feeling like shit then you deserve to be. Um, that, that line just sticks with me a lot. I think a lot of people that they feel like they feel like shit for no reason like usually if you feel like shit then you deserve to be feeling that way and um yeah, yeah that, that, that line is always stuck in my head for some reason i don't know why i like to play video games really um it's really a really good decompressor for me um when i'm having a really when i'm really stressed out having a bad day i'll either play video games smoke a little bit of weed and lay in bed pretty much so how i handle those days The smart cars, I think it just feels like they're so cramped on the inside. I feel like anybody that's sitting in them is just having a bad day. I think that would be the perfect car to describe bad day. The little smart car. Definitely the the duets have definitely impressed me. People seeing people duet the videos and put their own verses and see their own perspectives on things. It, uh, uh, that's been pretty cool to see. So when I'm writing and recording a song, I really just like to, you know, um, usually if I'm working with other people, we'll, you know, we'll find a melody, find a, a sample that we like to, that we'd like to use, and then um, we'll just bounce ideas off of each other, like melodies, concepts, uh, song ideas. Uh, until we kind of work up like a good chorus idea and like a good concept and we develop the chorus and then we build the song out from there. So I'm probably going to um, just drop a single before the end of the year and um, with the holidays and everything coming up it's uh, kind of a busy time of the year for music so I'll probably uh, plan on releasing the EP or album um, beginning of next year depending on how things go. Everything is kind of up in the air. We're just taking things day by day. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to going on tours and seeing everybody and like having that personal connection. I have yet to even do any shows. My first show is October 30th. It's going to be a local show, show here in North Carolina. Um, but, I mean... I plan. I'm definitely. I definitely plan on going on tours in the future. I've just been working with my touring agency, and we'll probably do some a uh, bunch of college shows before we actually go on like a, a tour with either myself or somebody else. Uh, my parents. Kid Leroy. Acid rap. A chance to rapper. Super badass. Stay. 
by Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber. A super like badass movie like Fast and the Furious or some like Mission Impossible, some super action y movie, I think it'd be, it'd be fun to make a soundtrack for. Um, first song, I got into singing because I saw I saw my mom sing. She would always take me to church and I would see her sing up like up at church. And so we'd come back from um, from church and I would sing the songs that she would sing. Um, up there. Oh goodness. Um, Best Friends by Grandson. Oh, that's a tough one. I probably have to say, like, literally any Chance or J Cole album could go on repeat. Um, any Travis Scott album could go on repeat. Um, there's a lot of albums that I could put on repeat. Probably, I probably Acid Rap would be. I went to a Logic concert uh, a while ago, but Logic was one of like the first people that I start that first rappers that I listened to and really inspired me to start making my music and just being there, seeing him and like it's like the first the first concert that I like paid to see, like paid for pit tickets to go there and actually get up close to the stage and, and see see him perform live, and it was just. It was super cool seeing it because he was like one of my main influences when I first started making music. It was the Revival album by uh, Eminem, which was sadly kind of disappointing, but it's my first purchase. Vice Girl or a Backstreet? Probably a Backstreet Boy. I don't know. I feel like there's a Backstreet Boys carry a little bit more weight behind their name. Ty Verdes. Probably, probably the Kid Leroy right now. As, as the way things, Kid Leroy or like Kanye West or Drake or something. But like in the current modern times, probably Kid Leroy. I would just tell myself to take it easy and not try to, you know take things on too head on take things on too fast just kind of step back and enjoy what we got going on now instead of worrying about everything else like when i recorded my first song and i was actually satisfied listening to it so like the whole time i was rec i was recording music for like seven years writing and recording music and the first time i ever felt satisfied with my music like listening to it and actually like wanted to keep listening to it was like nine months ago when I started pretty much my whole journey.